Hi, I'm Nikki from Mattfire, makers of Bob Swift and Winify brand Atlassian add-ons. In this video, we'll be focusing on the administrator level features inside Winify's Delegated Project Admin Pro for Jira. This add-on is the ultimate tool for Jira administrators to enable a group of trusted project leads to safely and easily adjust their own project settings. Let's take a look. This is the administration area within Delegated Project Admin Pro. You can see over here on the left, there's two things we'll need to do. Select what we want to delegate and select who we want to empower. We're currently looking at the Select What to Delegate screen, and as you can see, there are two modes of delegation that we can configure, starting with Guided Path Mode. The basic Guided Path Mode is a toggle mode, which means admins provide a set of pre-configured schemes from which empowered project leads can select. First, we set up what to delegate for each of the following items. Issue types, issue type screens, field configurations, notifications, permissions, and workflows. By default, no schemes are selected. As long as that's the case, your empowered project leads won't see options for changing schemes. We have four choices when it comes to delegating access to schemes. None, all, exclude, or include. Let's walk through each option. We're going to set the permission schemes to none, which disables access to the scheme. Note that this is also the default access setting for all items. For issue type schemes, we're going to select all existing schemes, allowing empowered users to select from all relevant schemes in our instance. For our issue type screen schemes, we're going to only exclude two specific schemes, meaning these schemes will not be available for our empowered user to select, but all others will be available. For notification schemes, we'll include only specific schemes. The empowered user will only be able to select from those schemes. When it comes to excluding and including specific schemes, if we decide we want to remove these schemes from this list, we can click on the X on the right to remove it. After we configure what is being delegated, now we can decide who to empower through delegation. On the Select Who to Empower screen, there are three types of users that we can delegate to by simply clicking the checkboxes next to them in the Guided Path column. There's the JIRA Administrator, which is a member of the JIRA Administrators group. One thing to note here, that members of this group do not have the Administer Project permission. Second, we have the Project Administrator, which is a user with the Administer Project permission. Third, we have the Trusted Project Lead, which is someone who has the Administer Project permission and who has been set as the Project Lead. There's actually a fourth option to delegate to a group, which means that anyone with the Administer Project permission, who is also a member of the specified group, will be empowered to make changes. All we need to do is simply select an existing group from the Add a Trusted Admin Group drop-down menu, and a new row for delegation will be added to the screen. Then, assign permissions as desired. Let's take a look at basic guided path mode as an empowered user so we can see how their experience benefits from a greatly simplified UI. Select the delegated project admin icon from the sidebar. The tabs show all schemes that are delegated to this empowered user. Remember, we didn't delegate permission schemes, so that doesn't appear on this list. We're going to select a different workflow for this project. The empowered user can select from a list of workflows that have been made available by the admin. They can also preview the workflows before selecting them. While all this is happening, a change history is being recorded and can be viewed or rolled back to a known good configuration at any time. Rollback history is also being recorded, so we can review that if needed. Jumping back to our admin account, Let's take a look at our second and more advanced mode of delegation, self-service mode. Selecting what to delegate in self-service mode is slightly different than it is in guided path mode. The admin has even more granular control over what access to provide. Instead of selecting full schemes from which a user can toggle, the admin can select individual items such as issue types, fields, and statuses to delegate to an empowered user. Similar to Guided Path, our options are None, All, Exclude, or Include. We're going to demonstrate what this could look like, starting with Issue Types. We're going to choose None for Issue Type, which will disable delegation of Issue Types. 
for fields, we're going to select all existing fields which allow our delegated project admins to select from all relevant items in our instance. For statuses, we'll choose to exclude specific statuses. For workflows, we'll choose include only specific workflows. And like before, once we added schemes, we can remove them easily by clicking the X to the right. Now that we've selected what to delegate in self-service mode, we're now going to define who we want to empower on the Select to Empower screen. The full self-service section is a little more complex. Here's what each checkbox means and what aspects of the UI will be available to the empowered users. We can enable or disable self-service, which impacts whether a user is allowed to enter into self-service mode from guided path mode. We can also decide if we want a user to customize process templates, which allows them to rename, clone, or remove a process template. A process template is a simplified group of project settings that enables non-admins to easily make their own detailed adjustments. We'll learn more about process templates a little later in this video. We can allow them to select issue types, meaning they can add or remove an issue type. They can select fields, which allows them to add or remove a field from the Create, Edit, and View screens. Allowing them to edit a field lets them make a field required or optional. It also allows reordering of a field in the Create, Edit, and View screens, and adding or removing values from a field select list. We can allow empowered users to switch workflows, meaning they can associate the process template with another existing workflow. And with the Edit Workflow, they can add a step transition to the workflow, edit the screens available on the transition screen, or reorder the fields available on the transition screen. Selecting groups allows the referencing of a group or group custom fields value within a permission scheme or notification scheme, as long as a field of that type was delegated in the Fields section on the Select What to Delegate screen. Editing notifications lets users add or remove notification recipients. And lastly, editing permissions allows empowered project leads to edit a permission scheme by granting or revoking permission. We're going to select all for our demo purposes, but later on, you'll probably want to make more detailed adjustments based on your own unique empowerment goals. Now let's take a look at the user experience for self-service. Right now, we're in a process template, which is a set of configurations that control the workflows, fields, issue types, and groups that can be applied to a project, allowing us to simplify the UI so non-admins can easily and safely make changes to a project's configuration. We're just gonna customize our title here before we move forward. Working with each of these items is a very simple movement to add, remove, and select. As we're working on issues and fields, we have plus signs to add items and X's for each item that we may want to remove. Workflows are edited in the same way with two additional options. This icon is used to choose between available workflows that have been previously defined as a starting point. This icon allows empowered users to have the ability to add states and transitions. And no matter what changes are being made, they are being recorded and we can revert back if needed. We introduced the concept of process templates to remove complexity and make it much easier for non-admins to perform their own configuration changes. For example, if we need some issue types to operate differently from others, which is often the case, normally an admin would need to define a new issue type, add it to the proper issue type scheme, choose a new workflow, and add it to the project's workflow scheme, then associate it with that new issue type. That's a lot of steps, even for a seasoned JIRA admin. Instead, with Delegated Project Admin Pro, we'll just need to set up a new process template to handle our new defect issue types. First, we'll copy our existing process template, then update the name to reflect the issue types it contains, and select our defect issue type. Our defects should use a different workflow, so let's select that. And that's it. Now we have defect issue types available within our project using a separate workflow. And all it took was a few simple clicks. Some large JIRA instances may have many custom fields, sometimes with similar names. In the advanced settings, we're able to override the description for fields to provide guidance to our trusted users on when they should be used. If we want to change any of the field descriptions, we can just click the pencil icon. The description will then be editable, 
and we can click Update to save changes or cancel to discard them. Once the field description is changed, a customized icon will appear next to the field and we'll be able to click Reset to Default to restore the original description. Okay, so that was our high-level review of the administrator-level features of Woodified's Delegated Project Admin Pro for Jira. If you'd also like to learn more about how to use the additional Trusted Project Admin Level features, including our guided path and self-service modes, definitely check out our other videos that dive deep into those areas. Ready to get started? Just head over to the Atlassian Marketplace for a free trial of Woodify's Delegated Project Admin Pro for Jira today. We'd love to know what you think. And while you're there, be on the lookout for the entire family of AppFire products. With more than 60 award-winning add-ons and over 1 million downloads of our best-selling Atlassian add-on brands, Bob Swift and Woodified.